temperatures dropping. The city says it's taking steps to help the homeless. But CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer took a look at the promises the city made last year and found there is a lot of work to do. Near freezing temperatures had the homeless flocking to the main chance drop in center on East 32nd Street, coming in off the streets for a hot meal and a break from the bone chilling winds that had those with no place to call home going into winter mode today, dressing in multiple layers, huddling under mounds of worn blankets, or seeking refuge on the bench of a bus shelter. For many, the city's four drop in centers are the key to their plans for winter survival. What does it mean to you to have a place like this where you can drop in, have lunch, and get out of the cold? Help me get out of the cold. That means I don't have to take or ask nobody for nothing to eat. I don't have to ask people for help. I'm homeless and you can't ask for nothing better. Comfort, um, food, and, you know, hope. The main chance center, with its welcoming Christmas decorations, was clearly a beacon of hope. But today it was also a symbol of broken promises, a promise made nearly a year ago by the de Blasio administration to open new drop-in centers seen as a vital first step in ending street homelessness. Last January, in response to a series of stories by CBS2, the city promised to spend $8.5 million to open three new centers and assume the funding for a fourth center run by the feds in the Bronx. Officials conceded today that none of that has been done. What does that mean for the homeless population? It means less availability, you know, of getting off the street, coming in here, taking a shower, getting food, getting clothing, and getting social workers to help them. These drop-in centers are an oasis for the street homeless. Robert Mascali, the director of homeless operations for Mayors Bloomberg and Giuliani, says he's upset the city reneged. People that are reluctant to go to shelters will go to drop-in centers because they are safe, they're well lit, and they, and they get a lot of services. Well, experts say the drop-in centers are the key to getting the homeless off the streets. They describe them as way stations that connect people who are reluctant and distrustful with trained outreach workers. Maurice? Okay, Marcia, thank you.